In the all-new, all-different Marvel, Tony Stark has made the ultimate armor, or so he claims. I'm pretty sure he says that with each new armor, but this one can do everything from all of the previous armors, supposedly. At first, I wanted to give you a master list of every armor, but that proved to be insanely difficult, as it would appear that Tony makes a new armor every few issues. So let's look at some of the coolest armor sets that he's made in the past. Keep in mind, these are my personal favorites, so if you like other ones, let me know in the comments down below. Give me your list of your top 10 favorite Iron Man armors. Also, there isn't much to say about each armor. Most of them only stuck around for a few issues as he junked them and moved on. The Extremis armor from 2006. This one is arguably one of the more famous armors. For this one, Tony combined it with his actual body, fusing himself into a cyborg of sorts. The suit itself actually links into his own nervous system, allowing him to remotely connect to a series of communication systems. Extremis can even self-repair when it retreats into his body, and there's an entire storyline written about the armor and its concepts. The technology behind it was even used to save the Hulk in one of the storylines, which ended up making him super intelligent. Bleeding Edge from 2010. I wanted to mention this one because like Tony's previously most advanced armor, it was the upgraded version of Extremis, though Tony himself stated that it was actually the next evolution. Whatever, it lived in his bones and did everything that Extremis could do, but more. MK1 from 1963. When we're talking about the coolest armors, you can't forget the one that started it all. The suit of gray armor was built to keep shrapnel from getting to his heart. In the comics, it was originally a piece of armor from the Vietnam War, but in the movies, they moved it up to a more modern war. The suit boosted the strength of Tony and blocked him against all small arms fire and energy and acid. Once the name Blue Moon, he ends up pulling this one out again, typically when all of his other suits of armor get hacked and a villain takes over all of those models. The Samurai Armor from 2015. This one is actually a variation of the all-new, all-different armor that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. A lot of people stated that the Samurai Armor mode is Iron Man jumping the shark, but come on, how can you not like this? It's a Samurai Armor mode for his suit. Stealth Armor from 1981. Tony tried to make multiple stealth armors throughout the years, but the one that seems to pop up frequently when you look up stealth armor is this mostly jet black one. There isn't much to say about this one. It allowed Tony to remain undetected from most satellites and radar systems. The idea of stealth was later adopted into his future armors, and it allowed him to have a chameleon-like ability to blend into his surroundings, making this jet black one kind of obsolete. The Hulkbuster from 2007. Now this is actually the second Hulkbuster, as the first one is more of an add-on to his current armor. This one was used in the World War Hulk storyline. It's massive and powerful, and basically the Hulk if he was in Iron Man armor. But unlike the movie, the armor didn't stand much chance in the comics. In the comics, the purpose of the armor was to get nanites into the Hulk's bloodstream so that he would turn back into Banner, but it was sabotaged and unable to complete its job. The Hulk pretty much tore into it and then dropped a building on it. Symbiote Armor Superior Iron Man of 2014. This armor was completely different from anything before it. It was made out of liquid smart metal, making it act like a symbiote. It acted like his other armor for the most part in the functions that it could do, but on top of that, it also acted like a Spider-Man symbiote when it wasn't hardened into full armor. While a lot of people love this storyline, it's one of those what the heck happened things with Iron Man. He was turned evil during it, but he acted normal in other storylines. Then it just ended without an explanation, and the new Tony Stark really doesn't act like this jerk guy. Maybe we'll never know what happened to this storyline. Thor Buster Armor of 2003. This armor was created in case Tony Stark ever needed to fight against Thor. It's powered by Asgardian crystals, and it's made to look like the Destroyer, the suit of armor that can kill Thor, supposedly. Yet it never seems to do a good job of that, does it? The Iron Destroyer from 2011's Fear Itself. In this one, Iron Man and the Avengers needed to fight against Odin's brother. While the Avengers all got cool weapons to fight against the Asgardians, Iron Man got magical enhancements and a coat of magical metal on top of that. Since it also looked like the Destroyer armor, Iron Man dubbed this one the Iron Destroyer. The Phoenix Buster armor of 2012. When the Avengers vs. X-Men event happened, Tony Stark made this Phoenix Buster armor. It was horribly ineffective, and it split the Phoenix Force into five parts, making the situation five times worse. But hey, he got a cool name out of it. And lastly, on an honorable mention, is the Anti-Transformer armor of 2007 and the crossover New Avengers Transformers. Basically, this was an armor specifically built to stop the Transformers. It's Transformer-sized, allowing it to stop the Decepticons long enough for Prowl, Ratchet, Luke Cage, and Wolverine to get into the ship that they were keeping Spider-Man in and save him. How cool is that? So let me know in the comments down below what Iron Man armor you thought was the coolest. That's entirely what we're basing this on. How cool the designs were. I don't care how functional it was, because if that was the case, we wouldn't have put the Phoenix Buster armor on this list. I'm Benny the Comic Storian, and you can follow me on Twitter at Comic Storian, and you can follow me on Instagram at Comic Storian, and let's chat. I'll see you guys next time right here.